Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Mass Effect 2. I think I've just said Mass Effect more in my YouTube career than I have Horizon Forbidden West. Mass Effect, like, 1, 2, and 3 a couple times each. Except for the last one. Um, but, before I do anything crazy, I do need to go... Come on. Oh, wrong button. I need to go to a town. Because I desperately like like a well stocked town. Relic ruins. New. Maybe I go. Maybe I go back to the to here. The arena. They might have some good stuff. Yes. I do need more supplies. I also want to look and see if there's any more, um, I have some stuff I can sell and I want to see if there's any more, like, armors or weapons I can get. I think the bow I was really, the fire bow I was really wanting was here. I know that they're kind of, they're, I think they're at the major hubs, um, and I'm hoping that this being the, you know, chieftain's capital that, that this is a major hub. A drill spike is cool. The beam wire is another one that I forgot about. But I have so many trip casters. But this is the bow. This is the bow I wanted that does... Uh, the Im Its impact arrows deal additional damage to enemies in the burning state. So... I do want that. Oh, and I should sell... Ooh, okay, so I, I got the Pyre Hunter bow, and I'm upgrading it. And so now I have a new weapon attribute, which is the Advanced Hunter Arrows, which hopefully <laughs> don't uh, cost more to make. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they don't take up too many resources. Um, so this last one will unlock the final. Um, I think that, that lower ability on the bottom left. Oh, that is an Advanced Arrow, right? Yeah, that's the, okay, it's the Advanced Impact. It just, this last one just unlocks the slot. Unlocks the, and gives a plus 25% burning damage. Okay. I got that, like I wanted. Okay, I need to not go crazy. The other weapon I wanted was a rope caster. To knock the marshal. Oh, yes, let's do that. Uh, we un will unlock low health defense. That's good. Oh shoot, I could do that one too. Low health valor? Sure. I, I am using this one a lot, and it's a purple, so I don't mind upgrading it. By any means. Let's see, ooh, this one. Sunwing and Elemental Claw Strider Sack Webbing. Holy moly. This one's, they're mean. Mean about it. So this one is good at this, this, this wet, this, blah, this armor is good against purge water. Was I not seeing that in the outfit screen? They just don't explain it either in the description. They're not it's like part of the description. It like makes you look at the stats yourself, which is fine. <laughs> but also, like it's a little confusing to have to look at multiple places for information. When I'm not sure why they couldn't just put it in the description, you know? But that it's weak against acid and plasma, you know? Melee is better. That's good, that's good. Actually, let me... Go ahead and create a job. No, we'll create a job for it though. A sunwing and a claw strider. Hmm. I'll create a job for it. Because it's it's blue, and I also I don't mind too much on that one. It doesn't have a ton of perks. Quiet spear, what does that do? Melee attacks are quieter, reducing the chance of being detected by nearby enemies. That would be nice, because I mess up on that. All the time. All the time. Yeah, we'll look into that. I do need to look at other armors too, not just weapons. Nope, we don't need to look. Nope. Uh, what's okay? 
there's just so much to upgrade. Frost Hunter bow I could do. It is blue bow, so I don't mind. I will not go too crazy on that. Oh my gosh, the sharp shot bow. Wait, is this the one? No, it's just it's just uh, doesn't have doesn't have the terror arrows on it. Can be upgraded to deal extra damage to targets at long range. The thing is, they're like thirty meters. Oh, thirty meters. I thought I said one hundred and thirty meters or more. I'm like, how am I supposed to know that thirty meters is easy enough? But that's also not long. If that's considered long range, that's actually really freaking good to know. Uh dang. I was thinking it was like in the 100 meter range. So mid range is probably like 15 to 20 and short range is like less than 10 probably. Mm. Dang. Cuz if I'm if I'm sniping, I'm usually doing it from way far away. Oh, is it the cleaving one? Okay. Oh, shoot. Draw speed? Yes, please. This bow is incredibly slow to draw, which makes sense. I don't mind, right? It's a, it's a heavy, it packs a heavy punch, but it'll be nice. And we get increased, oh no, increased component tears for the next upgrade. Okay. Shell snapper. Haven't seen those in a, like, in a while. In a snap mall. Six shell snapper bolts. Jeez. All right. Now that I have <laughs> hecking. Heck. <laughs> Spent so much money on upgrades and stuff. I guess I can go look at the armor, but I'm probably not going to find much. I do, I want to find, wherever the freaking rope caster was, there was like a cool rope caster, but I can't remember. It had like, it had like canister payloads on it. Oh, none of these are... Roger Wanderer is cool. Quick Trapper, that's nice. I can't afford any of them. Or these ones that, that I like. These ones are, no. Designed for trapping and melee combat. That's interesting because I definitely get into melee combat more than I would like to. But no, we will hold our horses. I just, I hate to sell any of these and then be like, oh, dang, I need that, you know? Maybe some of these, honestly? Yeah. I don't, I'm never gonna use it. That one's a shock one, which I need. That's right, I need to add that. So I had rope, I had new, I would like a new rope caster, and I would like... Um, I got the fire bow, new rope caster. There, I feel like there's another weapon besides the electricity, because I feel like electricity was going to be the third one I wanted. Deals extra damage. See, like, you're like, oh, it's the same thing as this one, but it's not. Like, it has written in, like, the description has written perks that are, like, extra. 15, close, like, you know. Oh, so close range, yeah. 10 meters or less. Yeah, I was right. Oh, I'm so tempted to sell this one. No. This is, this is, ag okay, so this is the actual only trip caster. So I do have a trip caster that has explosives on it. I just need to equip that. Okay, I, in the heat of battle, I'm like, blah, blah, like I, I was not paying attention properly. So this one does do explosives. That's good. It just also has the stupid shield wire. I could turn for sell this one. Okay, here's another uh, data point I got. I'm trying to go to my, my stash and just make sure I have equipment. But here's this is part of the museum thing that we were at before with the visions of the ten and stuff. 
uh, from Buena Vida de Brawl. I saw your message. Thanks. I suspect foul play. Senator Medina is a political animal. I'm pretty sure we're pawns in some kind of scheme to make the most out of our planned visit here, even if it means turning us into roadkill on the beltway. Let me look into it before we talk to PR about a strategy, okay? No need to escalate right now. Let me first call Buena Vida and see what's what. The senator has been known to test the waters before committing to anything, and as far as I can tell, she hasn't responded to Sonia's statements yet, which I think is telling. Regardless, we need the senator to visit as planned or standing with the pro-reconciliation groups depends on it. See, this is, this is part of the politics of being in a museum i think in here with the history being so fresh on this particular incident with the whole that that war of the, of the over the southwest and the water and the rights to stay there um and everything that was very fresh in the minds of people so it needed to be dealt with um like uh carefully I think such a thing isn't usually an issue in like modern day museums, but I could be totally showing my ignorance on that because I'm not I'm not a museum person. Like I like to go to museums, but I don't I don't work in museums, right? Like I couldn't give you like the ins and outs or anything. Machines thrashing about and no way to put them down. May your blade be bright. Yeah. May your name be honored at the road. Aloy, need to turn in some tags oh. or trade some medals. Maybe you won some from hunting grounds. But if you want to turn in the parts, we need to open the arena. Oh. We'll have to talk to Colin. Oh. I found some of the tags you mentioned before. Good. The squad mates and families of the deceased will be grateful. Here. A small reward for your efforts, but don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Just trying to ask her. Oh. Whoa. So this is the stuff you can get. Oh my gosh. This is the stuff you can- Oh my gosh, this is the stalker one. Or this is, sorry, this is the trapper one. You need 54 arena medals? Oh my gosh, trap limit, quick trapper, smoke bomb capacity, nimble crafter, low profile, and quiet movement. And it looks nice. It looks really nice. Hmm. The more you bleed. Interesting. Beautiful. These weapons, though. I was hoping to maybe get a, no a better knockdown bow eventually. What is this? What incarnation is this? What are these abilities? Not that. I want to know what the symbols mean. I don't know what the symbols mean. He's just targeting... Tar that's what that is. Targeting hunter arrows to direct the attacks of overridden machines. Oh my gosh. You can inflict extra damage against burning enemies. So... What is... So you can override a machine and tell them to go f attack this particular whatever you know like a particular machine or person this on the right though it can do extra damage against burning enemies but this is this is that's a different state that's not burning necessarily i don't think it looks kind of like that enrage mode that some of the machines will do can be fired from above God. Oh my gosh. This chin weapon, kin weapon can launch plasma spikes that have a better chance of a critical hit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Oh, 
Such cool things. Earn more medals and the rewards will be great. But it's I am I don't I well, I guess I should go. Safe travel. I don't have the patience for that. I obtained something purple. I don't know. What was it a Probably a coil, yeah, of some sort. Um, anyway, I've been recording for 25 minutes. How exciting. I hope you guys don't have to hear me go on and on about all that stuff. Okay, I just put some more... Some mods on my weapons really quick, just to make sure. Most of the time I'm just going with whatever elemental damage that they have and increasing it, because I'm not creative. <laughs> um, but I think... I do have like a reload speed on one, and what did I have on this one? It increases damage against enemies at close range. Since it's, since, since it's a bolt blaster, I am most likely using it at close range. So. I could be wrong, maybe I should be totally rethinking the way I do bolt, ba bolt, bolt blasters. <laughs> uh. Maybe I should be using it from further away, but it seems like when I was watching my friend play that they did more damage up close and it was easier to get all the bolts into the target, you know? Um, so now... Dang, I was hoping maybe be able to buy... Uh... Like a goose feather and stuff, or like, like if I could maybe buy animal resources. Just some of the, like, cheaper ones, like the ones that are fairly easy to get, but I'm just not in the right area for. Oh, but I think I am going to go do a Soldier's March, and I'm going to get the Tanakh Tactician uh, face paint. Uh, but I'm also... I really want to get some Lowland armor. I think their armor is really, really cool looking. I'm not sure, 100% sure how to go about getting that. <laughs> like, I've been to their places, you know? So, but I probably, I it's probably at their capital that I would have a better shot of buying it. Or winning it in some arena thing, blah, 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 blah. No crunch under my boots. It's weird to go from the lowland, like, tropical-ish area all the way to the snow-capped mountains. And yet here we are. It's just weird to fast travel it. If I ran it, it would make a little more sense. Oh, I know I needed an owl, like, feather or an owl wishbone. Oh dang it! That's the moonfish skin, though. Is in um, it's in the open ocean apparently. So, good luck to me on that. It's just not gonna happen for a while. Jeez, why are they? It's like they're like, they're like it's not behind the waterfall. It's in front of the waterfall where all the valuable things are. Like okay, is that a fish? <gasps> Those are fishes? Wait, what was it? It was gonna let me scan it. Oh no, it's an owl. It looks like fish from here. <laughs> it looks like it's in the water. Okay. Why are the owls on the ground? Nearby. I should check up on her brother. Climb here. Climb here? Climb from here? I cannot climb from here. Don't know what you want from me. Oh man, this feels like the DLC in Horizon Forbidden West. Or Horizon Zero Dawn, really. Am I supposed to climb this? Oh, jeez. Oh! There we go. This is quite precarious, but the Banook could do it easy peasy. much work it takes to make snow blow like in the game you know that person looks like they're in charge I should talk to them 
because you're standing. Ooh, you have cool face paint. Ballbreaker. If you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. What? So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. I have so many names in this game. <laughs> what is this march you mentioned? This is one of the toughest slopes in Sky Clan territory. It's said that the Ten climbed this mountain in pairs during their war against machines. Our people partner up to earn their soldiers' marks by following in the Old One's footsteps and retrieving the Blood Crest, a flower that grows on the summit. Ooh. Until Pento, that is. He insisted on climbing on his own. You mean no one wanted to climb up with him? Oh. I tried to stop him, but there were technically no rules against it, so I let him pass. That sounds familiar. The Nora have a similar ritual. No one wanted me in that one either. Their mistake, I presume. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me standing here. Uh huh. <laughs> Why is everyone so sure this Pentaw can't climb that mountain? Our people are soldiers. We respect strength and agility. Pento has neither. Never has. He's been stuck on cleaning duty since he was a child. Yet he decided to undergo our clan's most difficult trial on his own. And you think he's crazy for trying? I'm not a fan of that word. Mm. When I chose to wear a woman's armor, people called me crazy too. I guess Pento just feels like he has to prove himself. To show who he really is. I understand. Believe me. But that climb is hard enough, even without a storm. I actually didn't know there was a difference between male and female armors, so that's interesting. But I did. I was kind of wondering. Like, I walked up, and I just assumed that they wouldn't say anything. Um, but I did. I don't know. I walked up, and I was like, maybe maybe it was subconsciously my brain recognized the armor, honestly. Um, because I was like, oh, I wonder if this individual is trans. But, like, obviously I'm not going to, like, point it out necessarily. Or, like, I don't know. You know, until they say something, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and maybe they aren't. Maybe they just are non-binary. I don't know. You know, it's whatever. So, there's any number of options, but that's interesting. And I wonder what this individual had to go through. I guess the, it seems like people called them crazy for putting it on, for putting this armor on, the women's armor. Um, but apparently there is either a precedent or this person forged a precedent, you know, for, in order for this to be allowed, I guess. And they're obviously a commander of some sort, so. I could try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing give, as well? Give me a mark. Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I couldn't see anything. Someone's got to go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. Yeah, you still do. You still, you still do. You 100% still do. Just if the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus so, to those climbers. So, okay, so do the men, the men's armor generally, like male armor goes shirtless, I guess? The start. In the cold? I just assumed, especially since we're in the cold, that everybody would be, like, super covered up. Also, I'm pretty sure I saw somebody covered like in like like a masculine figure covered in like sh like full body armor earlier. Interesting. Maybe I'll have to pay closer attention. I just assumed they were not um, like the armored types were just kind of preference, you know. But it would appear that there is at least some sort of gender association with each one. 
Interesting, interesting. That's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know how much people enjoy having it, like, pointed out so obviously. I think sometimes people want it to be more of a, like, a subtle interpretation thing. But, uh, because I feel like, um, oh, a crow. Uh, that Mass Effect Andromeda got in some trouble for, like, stating, explicitly, explicitly having some, have a trans individual stating that they were trans. It made sense in the context to me, but Bioware ended up taking out the, uh, the, the way that they phrased it. But, I mean, obviously, I don't know how people would prefer, you know? Like, it's up to the Workers. individual. I'm on the right track. How they would like things to be presented, you know? So I'm afraid I have to cut it off there at that insightful deduction that I definitely had. <laughs> um... But yeah, the episode got a little bit long. We ended up spending more time. I even edited out quite a bit. We spent more time in the shopping upgrade menu than I anticipated. But um, anyway, this is one of my favorite side missions, uh, by the way. Uh, we'll finish it up in the next one. But there's some really good side missions in this game. I liked the one with the signal spike woman. This one I end up really liking a lot. So I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with the side missions that they've got in this game. They did a really good job. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. You guys are the super bestest, and I really do appreciate it a lot. So much. So thank you guys again, and I hope to see you all in the next one.